Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to use the No Shelf application on any Android phone or tablet. So for this guide, I'll be using the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Plus with the S Pen. You do not need the S Pen in order to use the No Shelf application, but keep in mind if you have, you know, a pen, S Pen or any other type of pen which may come with your Android device, it will improve the overall experience of this application. So first of all, when it comes to the No Shelf application, you need to understand how to use the app. So let's just go uh, to uh, the application itself. And so you can see here, we have a categories. And if you tap on the plus here, you can create a brand new category. So let's just create uh, a brand new category real quick. So we'll just do like this, done, create. And you can see now we have essentially a folder where we can put all our notes. So let's say you are a student, you can have each folder for each subject. If you don't want to create folders, you can always just go to my notes here and all of your uh, notebooks will be in one place. So you do not need to create a folder in order to just create a notebook. Now, all we need to do is we just need to tap on the plus here in order to create a notebook. So let's just tap on it here. You can see we have quick create. Uh, if we uh, tap into settings here, you can change uh, all of, you know, how your uh, page is going to look. So if you do want to do this, which I do recommend personally, you can obviously customize this. I do recommend you don't use a plain document. Instead, use a ruled on, uh, right here. We'll go back and then we'll just tap on quick create like so. You also do have the option for a new notebook, import documents. This could be a PDF scan or a, another, uh, whatever this application is called, note shelf uh, document. You can import a photo or scan documents. So let's just tap on quick create here and you can see it has created a brand new document. So first of all, uh, all we need to do is we need to learn how to use this application. So you see that look here? Uh, well, how it works is uh, initially you can navigate, you know, using your fingers, all that good stuff. And when you want to take a note, what you need to do is you need to lock the page. And when you lock the page, uh, what it will do is you can still swipe around, but you can't zoom in and out, right? And so this is useful because if you want to take your notes, your yes pen out, right around, and you can see it's not, you know, zooming in, zooming out on the page. Now, what we need to do is we just need to do a simulated, you know, uh, zoom and zoom out and you get the lock. You can tap on that to unlock. So when you are taking notes, you want to make sure that you are in the lock state because sometimes when you are taking notes, your palm will accidentally zoom in, zoom out the uh, screen. So it's just something to keep in mind. Now you do have the uh, tool itself. So if you tap on it, uh, you can see we have a bunch of options here. So we can change the uh, size of the pen. We can change the uh, pen type. And we can change the color here as well. If you swipe across, you do have more options. Then we have the highlighter tool. So this is used to highlight stuff. So you can see here, you know, highlight all that good stuff. If we tap on it, we do have the same customization. Then we have the eraser, and that can be used to erase stuff. Now, one thing to keep in mind, guys, is you don't need to tap on the eraser to erase documents. On the S Pen itself, you see that button, you hold on that button, and that's an example of what you're not meant to do. So you may have noticed uh, what I was trying to say is if you hold down uh, this button here, it will bring up the eraser tool. However, you can see it said it brought up the camera. The reason why is because the S Pen has to be decently close to the actual tablet itself for that to work. You can see now it's showing up the eraser. If I click and release, you can see there, the S Pen actually has to be closed if it's too far. Uh, I've never really had this uh, mistake, you know, when I'm actually taking notes, but of course I'm, you know, recording the video. So yeah, you do need to make sure you are close and then you can see, you make the note hold down on the button and erase. And it really is intuitive. Uh, I do think in some ways this is actually better than the Apple Pencil's double tap to change because sometimes the double tap doesn't register. Uh, I, do, I do think though the physical button, uh, you do need to, it's a bit of a learning curve to actually get the right positioning. Uh, but once you do get the positioning, everything is great. Then you have the uh, text tool here. So you just double tap and it will create a brand new text field. You see the uh, side here, this is where you can change everything. And if you just grab the borders, I accidentally screwed up there, so I lost my text note. If you grab the borders, you can see you can move this around as well. And of course, you can type, enter, and you just minimize here. Tap on the empty space, and you're good to go. Double tap again uh, inside of the uh, box, and you can edit the text right here. So I'm going to personally do, so I'm just going to remove all this text, and I'm just going to go like that. Tap on the empty space, and you can now see the uh, text box has been removed. Then we have the select tool here. So all we need to do is just select an area like so. So what this is going to do is it's going to grab all this stuff right here. So you have all these options and what you can do with the pen itself is you can use it. It's a bit glitchy. So you took me two attempts there, but you can see I can use it to move the text around. So let's say I was writing and I was like this 
and then I was like that by accident if I wanted to move this O next to everything else I would just select takes two attempts move just like that we're good to go if I wanted to move the text select everything drag just like that so then you have the uh, no s pen mode here so what this does it just means that you can navigate the um you know the application with the s pen uh without you know having you know any drawings or select tools made if you want to get out of this mode you just select another mode and just like that you are good to go now we have this uh, shape option here so if it's uh, grayed out like this it's not on you tap on it to turn it on so what this means is every drawing you do will be recognized as a shape so if i draw a circle you can see it will make a nice and perfect circle Let's do a um, parallelogram. It looks a bit like more like a rhombus, but I'm sure I didn't do each side perfectly. So you can see it drew a parallelogram here. Let's do a triangle. <laughs> kind of screwed that one up. Let's try that one more time. And oh my, I'm not the uh, the best artist, but there you go. You can see it does draw a triangle right here. So turn that off. Then we have the share feature. So you can share the current page, all pages, all selected pages, and you can share that to social media or to the files app. Let's say you want to put it on an external SSD, you can do that as well. And then you have the pages here. So what you may notice is there's only one page, right? And if you tap on edit, you can see the only option is to duplicate a page. However, what if you just want to create a brand new page outright? So if you have one page only, you can either swipe uh, to the left or swipe to the right. And then you just tap on add a new page right here. You can also add from a template, photo, import, and uh, document scan. So we'll just tap on add a new page. It will use the presets as you used earlier. And you can see in order to go through each page, you have to swipe left or swipe right. If you swipe to where there is no page, it will ask you, of course, to create a new one. And another thing as well is if you tap on here, you can tap between both pages like so.